Hola mi gente, ¿cómo están? Mi nombre es Alba Mar, me pueden decir Alba, el canal se llama Seriela, estamos aquí para hablar de libros, algunos de ellos en español, desde Puerto Rico. Hello, my name is Alba Mar, you may call me Alba, the channel name is Seriela, we're here to talk about books and some of them in Spanish from Puerto Rico. And I am doing my tags, and today uh, I will do the vacation book tag. I was tagged by Roz, uh, the lovely, wonderful Roz at Scally Dandling about the books. I love that channel name. I really do. Uh, go visit Roz. You'll have a great time. Yeah. Uh, she tagged me because she thinks I'll have interesting answers and I'm sorry to disappoint you, Roz, but... <laughs> I don't think I will uh, because, first of all, I don't do vacations or holidays, as Roz calls them, uh, not in the way that other people do them. I, on my vacations, uh, I usually just visit family. My vacations are for f visiting family. Uh, and family is either in Chicago or in Orlando, Florida, uh, or in New York City. Yeah, <laughs> those are the three places uh, that I visit. Uh, I no longer have family in the Dominican Republic, or I would probably uh, visit the Dominican Republic, but I don't anymore. So, yeah. My vacations uh, are dedicated to visiting family, not visiting places. And the only place that was on my bucket list as a vacation destination, uh, I visited in 2015, which was Cuba. And I read a couple of books before going, yeah. Uh, to try to uh, understand more of the situation in Cuba and I had a wonderful time. Two entire weeks of traveling around Cuba. <clears throat> yeah, but I'm not uh, attracted to uh, travel like other people are. For example, my daughter who before, uh, before the crash, right, uh, in 2008, not this one, <laughs> she got to travel a lot. Uh, she'd like to travel more, but uh, yeah, that's her, not me. I'm, I'm not attracted to it. I travel through books, and uh, that's, where, that's where I do my traveling. <laughs> yeah, so let's get to the prompts. Oh, and the original tag... Uh, was created by Steve, uh, Steve Donahue. And I'm sure you know who Steve is, and if you don't, go visit him and subscribe. Yeah, so uh, number one is, oh, another point that I want to make before starting is that another reason why I don't think I'm attracted to taking holidays or vacationing as other people do, is that I live, I actually live where people vacation. <laughs> I live in a vacation destination. And uh, I love it here. When I first came uh, to study, when I was 18, uh, I fell in love with my island. And uh, if anything, I would like to do more turismo isleño, uh, which is internal tourism around Puerto Rico, except that now, uh, after the hurricane, the roads around the mountains are dangerous. So I, I've had to curtail that, and I stay around the perimeter of the island where uh, 
the highways are are a little bit better. Yeah, number one, what's your favorite book about somebody taking a vacation? I could not remember <laughs> because I'm not a vacation person. Um, all I can recall are the Jane Austen books in which the characters take holidays and my favorite uh, of those was Persuasion. Uh, when the big accident happens uh, at the shore and um, yeah. yeah I remember that one and the different vacations for example in Emma when they take a holiday uh, and everybody took a walking tour or you know their little vacations and holidays uh, in Emma and uh, yeah, those are the ones that I recall. Number two, do you read travel writing? Well, no, actually, I was looking and I don't. Not that I wouldn't want to, I would love to. Um, I think I've heard quite a few people mention travel writing, especially um, one travel writer. Uh, I forget his name right now, but yeah, I would look into it. Number three, what are your books on vacation rituals? Well, when I go to visit family, I used to make it a point not to take my library books with me just in case, right? And that's one of the first things that I consider when I'm visiting family members uh, in the United States or here on the island. Uh, not to take any books that I would miss in case uh, they were lost. So uh, I usually take something that uh, I'm rereading or I take something now that I have the Kindle app on my phone, I'll take something uh, on the Kindle. Yeah. What's your favorite book that you found first while on vacation? No, does not apply to me. Never found anything while on vacation. Uh, have you ever light fingered a book from a vacation stay? No. Number six, some of your favorite books set in exotic locales. Well, not vacation books, uh, but books that had vacations in them and described vacations. For example, now that I'm reading uh, the Hilary Mantel trilogy, uh, I was struck by the, t the number of times that the entire court would just take off, <laughs> escaping from pandemics, for example. Uh huh, and uh, there was this book, and I'm going to uh, put the picture up here. That Steve Donahue, as a matter of fact, recommended once, and I never—I don't think I ever mentioned it uh, on this channel. That I found was available on Overdrive, and uh, I downloaded it and would read it at the moments that I was uh, going to bed at bedtime. And that was the book about uh, Empress, Empress uh, Nur Jahan. Yeah, Empress, the astonishing reign of Nur Jahan, the woman who achieved briefly, a Muslim woman who briefly achieved power uh, in uh, 1611. Yeah, I'm going to read you a little blurb that I found. Uh, four centuries ago, a Muslim woman ruled an empire. Yeah, that was such an intriguing read. It was very, thank you, Steve, for that. Uh, when it came to hunting, she was a master shot. As a dress designer, few could compare. An ingenious architect, she innovated the use of marble, in her parents' mausoleum on the banks of the Yamuma River that inspired her stepson's Taj Mahal. 
Can you believe that? And she was both celebrated and reviled for her political acumen and diplomatic skill, uh, which rivaled those of her female counterparts in Europe and beyond. So in 1611, this 34-year-old woman, Nur Jahan, the daughter of a Persian noble and widow of, of a subversive official, became the 20th wife, the 20th wife, and most cherished wife of Emperor Jahangir. And while other wives were secluded behind walls, Nur ruled the Mughal Empire alongside her husband and governed in his stead as his health failed and his attentions wandered from the matters of state. Ah, it was fascinating. It was a fascinating read. Uh, and I would uh, read it as a palate cleanser <laughs> during bedtime. So I have to thank Steve for that. Uh, has nothing to do with vacations, but for me, it was a mental vacation. Yeah. Um, and the final, <laughs> the final prompt <laughs> is like quintessential Steve Donahue. Sorry, sorry, I touched my face. I will wash my hands later. Do you think the coronavirus will kill us all? Uh, not the virus. I don't think the virus will kill us all. No. <laughs> Watch Roz's answer to that uh, on her version of this tag. Uh, if anything, I think that the system might kill us all. A system of health for profit. Yeah. So that's my version of the vacation tag. And uh, if you haven't done it and want to give it a try, especially people who go on holidays and have vacations, well then do it. Feel free. That's all people. Take care. Uh, keep on reading. And thanks for your time. I appreciate it. Cuídense mucho mi gente. Sigan las instrucciones. Cuídense mucho. Los quiero. Adiós.